today i am going to show how you can attach wheels derwin wheels to a universal gantry plate and this gantry plate it can be mounted on a 2040 aluminium extrusion like this the purpose of mounting this gantry plate on the extrusion is for this plate to act as a carriage for the camera normally these gantry plates and aluminium extrusions are all used in 3d printing but i am using them here to for my purpose of making a do it yourself slider i have already made a do it yourself slider and this is the carriage it is made up of a wooden block and it is a motorized slider there is a dc motor here geared motor and there is an idler pulley here and this platform moves along this but however this motor was making a little bit of noise and so i am now set on making a new slider with a stepper motor and stepper motor driver stepper motors are noiseless motors so without any delay let's jump into the video i'll show you what are the parts which are required the gantry plate is one then you need four wheels these wheels come in packets of two and so you need two packets and then you need some tools a couple of tools a spanner and an allen key so I'll, as the video progresses i'll show you how to assemble this today i am going to show how to assemble four derwin wheels to a universal gantry plate so that this gantry plate can be mounted on this 2040 aluminium extrusion the purpose of mounting these wheels onto the gantry plate is to make a carriage for a motorized slider so while ordering wheels you need to order two sets and the wheels are of the same size but the spacers in these two the for this set are different there is one eccentric spacer and there is another aluminium spacer same in this set also i will remove these and show you place your extrusion bar here is the gantry plate across the extrusion 2040 aluminium extrusion like this and uh, mark the holes on which you're going to mount the wheels so this one is close this is small hole and the next closer one on the other side is this one so we will be attaching wheels to the third hole from the top the fourth hole from the bottom same on this side also we will be attaching the wheel to this one and this one inside each packet you get five components there is the wheel there is a nut this is an aluminium spacer this is a ms screw and there is a washer here so let's lay them out here nut spacer wheel this is a different spacer this is an eccentric spacer nut washer and wheel so we have one set here now i'll open the other set this is an eccentric spacer
washer, aluminum spacer and wheel. Besides these, you need some tools. This is a 8 millimeter ring spanner and an allen key. I have a bunch of allen keys here. I will be selecting the allen key of the right size. Here is the plate. So remember we want the fourth small hole from here or the third big hole from here. Same here also. Let's again, once again, put it on the extrusion rod. Third one from the top will fit correctly. Fourth one here will fit correctly. So our goal is to put the wheels, attach the wheels to one, two, three and four. The bigger hole will accommodate the eccentric spacer like that. So this goes in nicely. The sleeve of the eccentric spacer, it has got a small sleeve here you can see. This has to go in. So for the bigger holes, you need the eccentric spacer and for the smaller one, you need the... So let's put the eccentric spacer here. Two eccentric washers have been placed. Then I will pass these uh, bolts through these eccentric screws and then place the washer on top of the eccentric spacer, take the wheel and slide it in and tighten the wheel with this nut. Two done. Next are these two holes. We need the normal aluminium spacer for these two holes. Pass the nut in. Take the washer. Wheel. Nut. Tighten. Last one. N spacer. Washer. Wheel. Nut. Now I'll tighten all these wheels with the help of the allen key and the spanner. Slide the spanner into the space here. Tighten this nut. Tighten this one. Tighten the last one. Now all four of are tight, the wheels spin freely, now we will pass the gantry plate over the extrusion and make finer adjustments if required.
it has passed smoothly now the test is to see that uh, when we rotate the wheels the extrusion should slide here so this is loose these nuts have to be tightened so it moves so moving each of these four wheels causes the gantry plate to move on the aluminum extrusion so that is the judgment of the tight fit of the gantry plate i'm going to assemble the motor stepper motor and uh, other components on to this gantry plate and i will come up with the slider so watch out for the next video if you found this video informative give it a thumbs up leave your comments if you have experience of making a do it yourself slider Subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon to receive notification and stay tuned. I'll see you in the next video. Cheers.